Yeah, well, in 2010 and 11, we did two landholder surveys in the Mallee. Um, they were targeted specifically at broadacre farmers and uh, livestock uh, holders. They were aimed at getting a better feel for a range of on-farm management practices and attitudes. Yeah, over two years, 470 farmers were surveyed, and we figured that we've probably covered 60, possibly 70% of available people in the Mallee. The surveys themselves were designed to support the engaging farmers in improved NRM project being run by the NRM board at the moment uh, up until 2013. We got a whole range of data in the end from the two surveys around intelligent seeding systems. It's probably one of the more critical parts of the survey was knowing the extent of different practices. The survey tells us that we have a fairly strong uh, no-till community, um, which from memory was roughly around about 26%, and we have a smaller zero-till community of about 8%. By far the greatest is um, minimum till. Uh, minimum tillers are people that generally work up ground at least once, and that can include prickle chaining you know, sort of lighter treatments like that. When we saw the not too recent past the um, elevation in glyphosate prices, that people start working up again rather than spraying. So people have given me the best answer they could that they figured was most representative of their systems. In reality, farmers actually use quite a mixture of practices in terms of if we split ground preparation away from actual seeding system, it um, gets quite complex. So... People viewing the survey need to understand it's, it's uh, the most prevalent system that people use. Generally, uh, your minimum tillers are the biggest, followed by your no-till, followed by <coughs> excuse me, your multiple till and then your zero tillers. In the surveys we've done, we've tried to identify what the barriers to change are, and a lot of them are based around cost, um, you know, the cost involved in changing equipment. Um, the next biggest one is uncertainty with having spent the money, whether they can make a particular seeding system work for them successfully in their ground. We have to appreciate that these people have a lot of ground variability on their sites. It can be anything from shallow rocky ground to you know, deep heavier swale country. The greatest barriers to change appear to be cost uncertainty with the success of using a system without having ex any extra tuition or support. Herbicide resistance is one that is concerning some people with you know, moving towards um, <clears throat> reduced tillage. There are obviously resistance issues in the Mallee with things like brome grass, etc. So, yeah, it's an interesting one.